Hello everyone, Psychos in here, the Psychos in Project channel. Uh, another review for you today, and something a little bit different because this isn't rock, this isn't metal. This is um, Tom York's new album, Anima. I will explain in a moment why I'm reviewing this, but uh, let's give this a listen and see what I thought of it, shall we? So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, isn't this YouTube channel usually just for uh, reviewing rock and metal albums and metal bands? Yes, it is primarily that, but um, on the other side of the coin um, for those who don't know Tom York is the lead singer of um, celebrated UK band Radiohead who got huge uh, many years ago with the Benz album then the monumental and still awesome to this day OK Computer before completely changing um, the rules of their sound as it were with the other monumental album in their career which was Kid A and I have been a long time Radiohead fan since OK Computer and uh, didn't quite get into them back in the day back on uh, Pablo Honey or anything but um, Tom York's released three, four sorry, solo albums as it were, one was under the name Atoms for Peace um, and I've just been a huge fan of all of his work um, his work with Radiohead especially his solo work um, everything this man touches is just absolutely gold to me he's a huge influence on me and um, kind of what I listen to in a way. Uh, it's weird because mostly what I listen to is rock and metal but um, I like some of the experimental stuff as well that comes out um, and I've always kept an open mind because of the way Radiohead kept changing their sound, what Tom York himself has done. But also the influence that Tom York and Radiohead have had on the, the metal genre um, is probably bigger than you imagine. Um, without Radiohead and that Tool possibly would have continued evolving their sound as it was. Um, bands like maybe Mastodon and the whole, especially the prog rock bands, probably, well, the newer prog rock bands, probably have taken huge influences from Radiohead. Um, and then bands you wouldn't expect. I mean, Johnny Santos of um, the kind of forgotten and yet unfairly maligned yet absolutely awesome Spine Shank. Um, said back in the day how big an influence and how much he loved Radiohead. So, with um, all these bands come out all about saying, you know, Radiohead's a massive influence, I figured, you know what, they're a big influence on our scene, so um, might as well review them. Nah, and you know, yeah, this is this is, this is is a review for me, you know. I was going to buy this album, so I thought I'd do a review for you guys anyway. Um, so yes, new album by Tom York called Anima. Come out on Friday the 20th. 20, no, uh, Friday the 19th, so of July uh, 2019, if you're watching this at some future space date, um, and is his fourth solo album. Um, his last solo album was Tomorrow's Modern Boxes. Before that was um, the solo album he released under the name Atoms for Peace, uh, which was called A Mock, I believe, if I'm remembering right. And first of all was The Eraser. Now, I've bought all these albums as they've come out, apart from tomorrow's modern boxes the reason i didn't buy that when it came out is because i didn't realize it had come out uh kind of dropped the ball on that one and um, there's a few other releases that come out at the same time and unfortunately didn't realize that tomorrow's modern boxes had been released a boy earlier this year it's a pretty good album pretty good album but on to anima and um, this continues tom york's solo career um obsession i suppose it was with um I could put it, experimental Experimental electronic dance music. Yeah, I mean, it may sound weird for those who only know Radiohead from like Creep and Paranoid Android and all that, but Radiohead went into this kind of direction and Tom York was taking it further on his solo albums. Um, so, first things first, for those of you who are watching this, who are Tom York th fans, um, if you haven't bought on this album yet, you're probably wondering is it as good as The Eraser? No, no, The Eraser is still. The absolute classic, and to be honest with you, be a very, very hard album to beat, even for Tom York. Um, is it better than Tomorrow's Modern Boxes? Yes. Yes, it absolutely is. Um, this song is um, a more complete album than his last couple of albums. Like I said, I enjoyed them, but weren't quite there. You know, the thought I did there, but weren't. This would be fully formed enough to fully gel together. Uh, Tom York is in fine voice as ever. Um, even using vocal effects in a couple of the tracks. We kick off with traffic. We got Last I Heard You Say It In The Drain. I mean, there's, there's an amusing title song on it called I Am A Very Rude Person, um, which it's not that he's really just very, uh, not very much the rock stars it was with Tom York. Um, 
and all this all these songs you find yourself fit into a really nice groove sort of slot into a groove and get really get you sort of nodding along to them as it were while all the other weird musical elements come in along Tom Nook's voice going through processing and all this as well um, Impossible Knots has an amazing bass line I mean it's it's very close to being up there with the national the uh, anthem for the national anthem the bass line for the national anthem from Radiohead's Kid A album honestly is really really good um, so all in all will you enjoy this album if you like Tom York's stuff yeah if you're into experimental kind of dance or electronic music maybe if you like uh, Gary Newman I mean all of Gary Newman's stuff you'll probably like this um, so give it a go yeah so Animo by Tom York it's four and a half out of five from me so there you go, the secret's out. I'm a massive Radiohead and uh, Tom York fan. But um, yeah, as you heard from the review, really quite like this. Um, I've got to give it another few spins if it grows on me even more. Um, if you have any interest in it, let me know in the comments. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share the video, whatever. Um, and we'll be back to normal metal service soon enough. I just wanted to review this because um, a bit of a personal favourite, this singer. Um, uh, him, Devin Townsend, you know, uh, Bouncy Bell, yeah, the usual stuff. But anyway, yes, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. John, two, I, two, I turn to fame.